today we're going to be discussing the top 5 worst abilities in Planter Zombies Garden Warfare 2. I'm ranking these based off usefulness and just, you know, kind of how good they actually are. Now like the worst ability video, the abilities up here are abilities I can actually make content on. So starting at number 5, we have Cannon Rodeo. I barely see anyone use this ability. Its damage output is good and its splash is helpful for Captain Deadbeard. Especially when you got someone really low with your primary and they sit and hide behind a wall. You can use that to quickly finish them out with splash damage. But overall, I just see almost no one use this ability. It, you can also use it if you want to try and escape a chomper and burrow. But that's basically it for Cannon Rodeo. Let's move on to number 4. At number 4, we have Potato Nugget Mine. Now you may know that I made a video on Potato Nugget Mine titled The Worst Ability in Planet Zombies Garden Warfare 2. Potato Nugget Mine isn't necessarily horrible, I just had to put it as the worst ability because like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm not going to make a whole video on shield decoy because that would be boring. So, Potato Nugget Mine is going to take the fourth spot here. It's instant detonation does help in a lot of situations as you saw just right now, but overall the 50 damage isn't going to get you much. It would require someone to step on it three times for most characters and I see no reason to use it over regular Potato Mine. Now at number 3 we have the Z7 Max Get, Get Over Here here. Ability. This is the gravity ability that pulls the plants right towards you, making it easy to finish them off with your primary or whack them with your sword. It is a very satisfying ability to use. I actually just recently posted a YouTube short if you want to check it out on a, a hidden a talent for this mech. Uh, it actually can pull burrowed chompers out of the ground. I figured that out the hard way, I was the chomper on the other end of it, but it was good to know. It is really fun to use, like I said, but overall, it's just not an ability that will save you from any situation and really get you a ton of kills. Now, up next on our list, we have Sprint Burrow. Just like a lot of the other abilities on our list, I see no reason to use Sprint Burrow over regular Burrow or really just in general. I, myself, recording this video, trying to even get a kill with it, couldn't. It just runs out way too quickly before I can even get to the person. I actually don't even think you can get as far as Sprint Burrow. I think the only situation it would be good in is if someone's like running away from you and maybe you won't be able to catch them quickly enough. But like I said, it runs out so fast, it's basically impossible for me to get a kill with. You'll see here, I was trying to get a kill for I think at least... At least five minutes. It didn't it didn't seem like five minutes, but you'll see that in a lot of these kills, I was right next to getting the person, but it just would not make it. It would be so close to getting them, but it just ran out. Now for the worst ability, I think a lot of people were expecting this one, and if not, you should be. It is Super P Jump. For those that don't know, because I see almost no one using this ability, Super P Jump is basically hyper, but you don't get any speed boost, you just jump a tiny bit higher. Of course this is good if you want to get on higher places, but overall, why would you use this over a speed boost and being able to jump high? You don't get the speed boost anymore when you use this ability, you just jump a tiny bit higher. I just see absolutely no point in this. When it comes to fights, of course, it still gives you a tiny bit of an advantage. You can still pogo pee all you want, but it. I use hyper mainly for speed boost, so I don't really know why people would willingly use this ability. <laughs> I decided to put this announcement at the end of this video since this video was kind of short, and I apologize for that. So if you watch the end of this video, that means you probably enjoy the videos, and I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you aren't in my Discord or you don't follow my Twitch streams, I am having a trip coming up on the 15th. I will be away for at least 8 days. There will be no Twitch streams, however YouTube videos will still continue to be uploaded because I will be able to bring my laptop and edit them a little bit. They just might not be out there as much, if that makes sense. I also want to thank you guys again so much for 500 subscribers. I didn't even realize when my viewers had to tell me that I actually unlocked community polls at 500. And YouTube says I'll get those within the next week. 
but in the comment he said get ready to wait 40 years so i i don't know but it, just thank you guys and i'll see you guys in this video and the videos will get longer from here i promise it was just one short video all right see you guys later